JFK 40. 40 years. 40 people. 40 stories. On News Talk 820 WBAP. 40 years ago, Alex Burton was working as a film cutter and script writer for the Texas News. <laughs> That's the newsreel that aired weeknights at 10 on what was then WBAP-TV. Kennedy's arrival in town was big news, but Burton says not everyone was ready to welcome him. There was a lot of anti-Kennedy feeling because of his insistence on the, um, the equality of the races, let's put it that way. Kennedy arrived first in Fort Worth, surrounded by a cadre of Secret Service agents. And I remember a, a cop in Fort Worth. He was joking about the Secret Service and he said, why would anybody be worried about the president being in Texas? He says, nobody's going to harm him here. You'd think we want Lyndon Johnson as president. By the time the president had made his way to Dallas, Burton wasn't in the newsroom yet, so he had no idea what happened as the motorcade passed the school book depository building. I got a telephone call from a guy in Canada that I had worked with and he said, can you give me some tape on what's going on? And I said, well, what's going on? And he said, they just shot the president. And I went, ooh, well, let me think about that. I better get to work. The next several hours were chaos, with reporters from both WBAP and NBC chasing down every conceivable angle. I have absolutely no memory of how it went on. Uh, it was just busy as hell. That's all I remember. And the network took over all of the airtime, so there was no Texas news that night. Eventually, Channel 5 staffers were told to go home. Burton says no one did. For JFK 40, I'm Lance Liggis, WBAP 24-Hour News. Listen for JFK 40, The Lost Kennedy Tapes, Saturday, November 22nd, on News Talk 820, WBAP.